Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of What's New in Swagger Hub Explore. Uh, as always, joined by Tamil Sanchez. Tamil, want to say hello to everyone? Hello everybody and welcome back. Yes, so this is probably going to be our last uh, update of the year. Time is flying, uh, but we just want to give you a quick insight into some of the recent features that have dropped, uh, predominantly the share spaces uh, feature. So now it's possible to share spaces within the UI of Explore, and this really can improve collaboration among team members with regards to understanding uh, the shape of a particular API or the different calls that have been made by another team member and really just to, to improve the, the collaboration of, of getting an API integrated into your own system. Uh, so we'll showcase that and we'll also showcase the export and import spaces functionality from the CLI. So you now have the option of of sharing and collaborating um, over spaces in, in different ways, uh, depending on what suits uh, your team the best. After the demo, we'll then cut back to Tamil to get uh, the product manager perspective. So with that, let me just bring up uh, Swagger Hub Explore. Uh, so here we are uh, in my uh, instance of Swagger Hub Explore, and I have quite a few spaces here that, um, that I have uh, recorded and uh, catalogs, different calls that I make to APIs that I'm exploring. And what I want to do is now share a particular space and, and show the, the experience of doing that and what it also looks like for someone who I may uh, send the URL to and, and what happens when they import that URL into their session. So I'm going to go to this FinTech workshop uh, updated space. And now if I hit on the, the menu options for that, I see that there's a new option here called Share Snapshot. I'm going to click that. It's going to bring up this modal asking me if I want to make this link accessible for, for multiple uses and to, to have it a little bit more perpetual or if I want to also share uh, the authorization settings that are contained within the space. So I'm just going to choose one option here just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to generate the link. Link has been generated and I'm going to copy uh, that link. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump over to and other uh, session that I have. Uh, so here you can see within this session, I'm signed in as a different user and I have no uh, spaces currently within uh, this user's workspace. So I'm just gonna paste in the URL that I shared with this user. And now you can see that I was able to successfully import uh, the space. All of the requests that are in the space are contained and immediately I can start exploring a particular uh, API, which is pretty, pretty useful. So maybe Tamil, before I go into the other uh, angle of showing this through the CLI, you know, what, why was it really important for you and the team to get this feature added uh, to explore? Yeah, great question. <clears throat> um, it's imperative that, you know, folks that work in teams can easily work together, right? Exploring is great, but if there's a certain amount of work that is done while exploring that you could share with your colleagues and help them ramp up on the APIs that you've been working on, it's tremendously valuable and accelerates the amount of time that you know it takes you to explore APIs. So uh, being able to share and decide whether you want to share your uh, authorization information configuration, right, is also important because you may not want to share that as well. And again, the, the main value there is speeding up teams, making sure that they don't have to start from scratch when their colleagues have already started to explore. Also, if you're an API provider and you want your consumers to easily start interacting with your APIs, you can easily create a space and share those out to your uh, consumers. So again, you know, we're trying to accelerate processes here, trying to avoid the hassle of having to start from scratch if a space already exists from one of your um, API providers or one of your colleagues inside of your teams. Cool. Yeah, that makes makes complete sense. Um, and as I mentioned at, at the outset, we also have uh, this option available through the CLI. Uh, so that gives, again, another option for folks, maybe if they're persisting some of their spaces in a in a code repository that they have the ability to, to keep these things in sync across a couple of team members. Uh, so what I'm gonna run here is if we look at the Explore CLI, 
uh, options that we have, we see that there's an option to export spaces. Uh, so I'm, I'm signed in here under my initial account where I have multiple spaces. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to export some of these spaces. So uh, an open AI space and a Swagger Hub portal space. So I'm just going to export those. So that has been done. And then in another terminal window, which is linked to the, the second account, I'm going to import the spaces that I've shared. And it's going to go through the process of importing these spaces. So open AI one has been uh, imported and now the Swagger Hub portal. Again, if I go back to my session, we can see that these uh, additional spaces have now uh, popped up and they're available for me to explore and get uh, up and running with those additional APIs as well. So we're giving multiple different avenues here to try and uh, you know, work with teams uh, on the terms that work best for them and, and integrate into the workflows that work best for them. So making it much, much easier for everyone to share and collaborate around the APIs uh, that they're exploring. So with that, I think we can wrap up, Tamil. Uh, any final words uh, from yourself and maybe giving a very brief look as to maybe what's coming ahead in, in, into the new year? Oh yeah, so there's a lot coming in 2024. Uh, we're heavily working on a lot more um, testing functionality to include as part of exploration. So again, a lot of things coming and a lot of fun things coming for 2024. So please stay tuned. Excellent. Thanks very much, Tamil, and happy exploring, everybody. Happy New Year, guys. Have a good one. Happy holidays.